I am beating every N64 game, and I mean all of them. The twist is, the next game I play is randomly selected, so I have no clue what's coming next. This is the journey to beating every N64 game. Game number 162. Itoi Shigasato no Basuri number 1 Keteon. Released exclusively in Japan in 2000, this game was developed by HAL Laboratory and published by Nintendo themselves. If the name Shigesato Itoi sounds familiar to you, that's because he's the guy who made Earthbound. If you're wondering why we never got an Earthbound 64, well, it's because he was too busy making this fishing game. This game was released on the Super Nintendo, and this is the definitive edition of it. Well, we've had two fishing games so far, and only one of them got a 0 out of 10 rating from me. So surely this is going to be better than that, right? HAL Laboratory was known for making some awesome games, so hey, maybe this will surprise me. Let's get into it. Quick shout out to Who Was Phone on GameFAQs for writing translation guides for most of these Japanese N64 games. They've been incredibly helpful in this journey. Link in the description. When you start the game, you're in a building with a mouse named Nezumi. She tells us we've been invited to fish at Surizuki Village. I think we're supposed to be playing as Shigesato Itoi himself? I entered my name, then she asked me to choose a difficulty. Now, this is a bit interesting. The lower the difficulty, the easier it is to catch fish. However, the higher the difficulty, the bigger the fish are. In these games, you're usually scored on the weight of the fish, so it creates an interesting balance. I went with normal because it seemed like a good choice. Then she introduced me to the frog, who is my assistant. He said we're going to be together forever, so he gave me all of his acorns. That's the currency they use in this village. I will gain more by catching big bass. Nezumi then asked me for my fishing schedule. I could either do weekend, student, or daily. Weekend, you can only fish on Saturday, Sunday, and holidays. Student type adds in Wednesdays as well as spring vacation, and daily lets you fish on any day. The trade-off is you get double acorns for weekend, 1.5 times for student, and regular with daily. I started out by going daily. She said I could change the schedule later if I wanted. Finally, we're at the main menu of the game. The tabs at the start let you do a few things. You can talk to people in the clubhouse, go fishing, change your fishing schedule, take part in a tournament, or you can skip to a different day. I talked to a bear in the clubhouse and he just gave me a tip about how certain baits work. Not interested, buddy. I decided to go fish and it asked me if I wanted to bring a friend. Well, I said no, but the bear insisted on going anyway. I guess you can come. When we left, a rather odd-looking tanuki stopped me. He said he has a challenge for me. He wanted to see if I could catch five fish at the Nono -No Lake. Just to test how good I am, you know? Well, I'm assuming that's the lake we're at now, so uh, sure. He says this is a beginner lake. He talked my ear off for ages, then said I have till sunset to complete the challenge. I had to go to the rest house next. Ugh, when can I actually fish? Here I can talk to people for advice, rest to move time forward by a set amount, or view records of the best fish caught. After leaving here, I paused the game to reveal a picture of a young Itoi holding an octopus. What a handsome lad. This was the help menu where he'll give you advice on all the different aspects of catching fish. Yeah, hopefully I don't need any of that, cause it's all in Japanese. Well, now it was time to actually try to fish. Oh, what's that controller I'm holding? Why, that's the official fishing controller of the N64, the Tsurikon. It was made by ASCII and it supports Japanese fishing games on the console. It has motion controls for casting and a reel with tension when something is on the line. It's honestly pretty sick. So you're able to move around the lake area in a first person view. It's pretty basic, but I mean, what else do you want out of the non-fishing part of a fishing game? No matter where I tried casting, it seemed like I found no fish. Also, I don't see a way to quick reel the line in on a failed cast, so it was kind of tedious to turn the crank every time. I was so lost. Like, zero clue what was going on. I at least learned in the top right corner if it says no, you can't fish from that spot. If it says yes and your partner in the top middle is nodding in approval, then it's a spot you can fish. Not necessarily will have any success though. When I play these Japanese exclusive games, I try to work together with the people watching live because it's just not worth it to navigate them by myself. I can't even read what's going on. We thought maybe the time of day is bad, so I need to wait. However, I accidentally told the Tanuki I'd completed his challenge. Well, since I had zero fish, that wasn't it. I got annoyed and spammed through the rest of the text. Looking at it now, he was telling me to try fishing near the structure with a crankbait. Probably should have read that back then. Nearly 45 minutes in and I still hadn't caught one fish. I found this cat walking around at least. 
I'll take this time to talk about the graphics and audio. I think the graphics look decent. The only thing you might tell that is off is how weird the characters look with the rest of the game. It looks like they just inserted a cartoon character into a realistic landscape. I don't know, something about it is off. When you're playing, you just hear the sounds of nature. There is some chill music indoors and when you're in the boat. And if a fish is on the line, it plays some kind of action song. The music's not bad. Still no fish seen even nearly an hour into the game. I was starting to get a bit worried. Like, where the heck are they? I decided to just cut my losses and reset and try the game on beginner. I mean, it can't hurt to try, right? Thankfully, someone found a video to reference. The legend the Mexican runner who beat all NES games several years ago did a challenge called Retro Game Gauntlet where he played all kinds of different old games. One of them happened to be this game for some reason. I could look at his video of him catching a fish and I at least knew where to stand. Upon letting the lure sink to three meters, it finally happened. A bass grabbed on. Fish! I don't know what I'm doing. What happened? Fish! I had no idea what to do and I panicked. Well, I'm sure waiting another hour for a second bass won't be that bad. But then I got another. This time I was ready. Use the joystick to pull the rod in different directions and reel it in with the line. The partner in the top will tell you how the tension is doing. When it's too tight, they turn red and freak out. This time I succeeded. Get in my hand, you bluegill! Oh god, this one doesn't even count! You've gotta be kidding me! A little more patience paid off at this spot. When a fish goes for the line, it makes a beep sound. You have to flick the rod up as if you're pulling the line in to hook the fish. It's kind of janky, but it makes it a bit more interactive. Thankfully, I didn't blow it here. 377 grams, 26.6 centimeters. That's gotta be like the world's biggest bass, right? Well, that's one of five, and it only took over an hour to get here. I'm sure I'll be fine. When you catch a bass, it shows some kind of tank type thing where the bass are swimming. You can only hold on to the five best you've caught. I was just getting started though. In this algae covered area, I caught a second bass. Oh my god, it's happening. Only three more needed now. A few minutes after that, I caught a massive catfish. Too bad these don't count for competitions. You can only use bass. I got my third bass and I could just taste the win at this point. After that, I heard a ding sound and a message popped up. Oh, what's that say? What was that? No, it went away. It went away before I could translate it at the time, but now I know it was me unlocking my first achievement. That's right, this game has those. This one was for getting my line caught 50 times. Probably on all this algae stuff. I got my fourth and fifth basses and I was golden. Before I finished the challenge, I wanted to test saving. And uh, yeah, it didn't work. It turns out I had some settings wrong on my EverDrive with the file formats. This mostly affected Japanese titles, but this game got me to look into it and actually fix it for all games. Anyway, point is I had to start over. But at least I knew how to catch some fish now. Going into another session, Jen from my chat found a speedrun of this game. This is exactly what I needed. For these obscure Japanese games, I don't mind following a guide at all. It's hard enough not being able to read anything. With this, I knew exactly what my goal was for the game. There is a final challenger, the Surizuki Village Champion. Defeating them gives you an achievement, and that's my clear condition. I'll link the speedrun video in the description of this video. The first challenge was the same as before, just catch five bass. For whatever reason, fishing near this pole at the dock gives a lot of bites. So anyway, I caught five bass and returned to the tanuki. He said I did it as expected. I met his goal. He gave me a special frog lure for completing it. Now to get to the next challenge, I had to skip ahead all the way to August 5th. How would you know this? Well, I have no clue. Maybe in the menu where you can ask Itoi for help or something. After moving to August, I headed outside and the cat was waiting for me. He said it was pretty cool that I caught five bass, but now I had to take it to the next level by fishing from a boat. I needed to get a boat and head to Kakasumi Lake. If I catch eight bass today, I'd complete the challenge. Alright, sure, what's three more fish? So I headed over to the boat shop, which is ran by an alligator, obviously. He remarked how brave I was taking on the cat's challenge and said I needed to stick to this one lake. Yeah, yeah, just give me the boat already. The boat's not anything special, you uh, just drive it around in first person view. It's about what you'd expect. 
So I drove the boat over to this red metal dock thing chilling in the middle of the lake. The bass love this thing. I think sometimes bass like to hide under things in real life, so the logic is to fish near structures. This could be completely wrong by the way, I don't know anything about fishing. One thing I made sure to do this time around is save immediately after catching a fish. If I found I was struggling after a catch, I'd simply turn the game off and try again. Look, save scumming is a legit strat. This would feel impossible without it. Oh my god, my second bass was gigantic! Literally over 2 kilograms, what a monster! This game had fast travel and I'd be using it here. It just allows you to travel long distances without having to physically do it, which is nice for quality of life. These bamboo shoots were my next destination. I think the bass are trying to be like pandas. I caught my third catch here. Then it was time to move to these wooden stumps. I don't know why the bass behave the way they do, but this controller makes them slightly more exciting to catch. This spot was a gold mine. I got all the bass I needed and I felt accomplished. Before finishing the cat's challenge, I headed to the shop. Here you can buy new rods, lures, and the like. The main thing I was after here was a better reel. It's supposed to be riskier, but it'll tire out the fish more. I also bought an improved rod that makes the bass more likely to go after bait. Is it just me or do these things look like some old timey rifles the way they drew them? So I went back to the clubhouse where the cat was waiting for me. He looked at my fish and said I did great for catching all of them. Eventually the cat said they wanted to be friends with me so I guess I gained a new companion. Well on to the third challenge. The dog said he noticed I had been crushing it out there so he wanted to see if I really had what it takes. I needed to head to Kikitoko Lake and catch 5 bass that are over 40 centimeters in length. He said I should probably buy a stronger line if I'm worried about it breaking. Don't worry buddy, way ahead of you on that. Also I'm not sure if my translation app is wrong here but at the end he said, by the way this tape automatically explodes. Is that the game just randomly making a reference to Mission Impossible? I had to make sure to equip the better rod before I went out. That sure would be embarrassing if I paid all those acorns and didn't even use it. When I actually went out to fish, something was wrong. Every time my hook landed, it just kicked me back to the casting screen. I was so lost. I thought maybe I was casting out of bounds or something. Well, turns out that new reel I got is called a bait caster. This can have something happen called backlash, where the reel turns faster than the line can come out. Or something like that. Anyway, the way you prevent it is by pressing A just before the bait hits the water. Sure, makes sense. After figuring out that nonsense, I hooked a huge bass. I mean, this was the king bass right here, folks. Look at it, 58 centimeters. Absolutely amazing. You all get the deal by now, right? I kept fishing and eventually caught all five of the fish I needed. The spot at the edge of the lake was insane. The dog was very pleased with my results. He gave me some kind of bear lure, I think? Uh, sure, thanks, I guess. Well, that's three challenges down. How many are there, you ask? Why, there are only five. This shouldn't take that long, right? Now it was time for the fox's challenge. He said, isn't it monotonous doing all their challenges just catching bass over and over? Yes, yes it is. He had a special challenge. I had to race him in a contest. The first one to catch a total of eight kilograms of bass wins. Well, I mean, I guess it's slightly changed. He wanted me to do it at Nanairo Lake. The boathouse here was ran by a horse. Ugh, <sighs> if you know, you know. Supposedly fishing under this bridge is a great place to find big bass. The first one I caught weighed in at a whopping 1.2 kilograms. Not the biggest I'd gotten so far, but as long as I beat the fox, right? I actually struggled a bit here, believe it or not. I had caught over 7 kilograms worth of fish, but the spot went dry. I even brought out the depth finder to try and see if I could find any fish on it. I think it uses sonar? I never should have abandoned Old Reliable though. That bridge is the best. I had well over 8 kilograms now and headed back to the clubhouse. I don't really know what I was worried about. The fox sucked. Didn't even catch a single fish by the time I finished. He gave me something called a rocket swisher, whatever the heck that is. Well, now it was time. All I had to do was take on the Surizuki Village Champion. In a shocking twist, the champ was the janitor. I kept seeing him wandering around sweeping and such. Never would have guessed he could fish. He challenged me to a contest of seeing who could catch the most cumulative weight of bass by sunset. Only bass 50 centimeters or longer would count too. Well, I've done this a bunch already. How hard could it be? I went back to the old reliable spot under the bridge and my first bass couldn't have been closer. 50.1 centimeters and 2.1 kilograms. 
I decided to do a test run to see how well the champ would do on a potential finished run. He had a total of about 12 kilograms, so that's what I was going to aim for. Caught my second bass shortly after, another 1.7 kg. Third bass just a few minutes later, 2.1 kilograms. Man, this was flying by. This was going to be an easy challenge after all. I moved to a different spot and caught the fourth bass at a whopping 2.5 kilograms. I was up to 8.4 at this point, nearly there. However, this is where I started to have some issues. I went about a half hour without finding anything. Then when I finally caught one, it's only 47 centimeters. That's not good enough. Another 20 minute dry spell and another under 50 centimeter bass. What the heck's going on, man? I was crushing it, now I suck. Another bass that sure looked big enough, but nope, it was 48 centimeters. I think you can see a trend here. Finally, I got my fifth eligible bass. Weighing in at 2.5 kilograms, I was at 10.9. If I could just get one more, I'd definitely win. Still though, I figured maybe I could get some luck with how he fished and win. And uh, yeah, I was only 600 grams off. Still though, not close enough, so I knew I just had to catch one more. Okay, the game was just being mean at this point. 49.4 centimeters? It doesn't even round up, come on. Why can't I just escape this nonsense? Okay, this one is 49.5 centimeters. Surely the game rounds up, right? Well, when the champ judged my fish, unfortunately it went in the 40 centimeter category. I hate this. This began my descent into madness. I was seriously losing my mind. I did not want to risk somehow losing my save, even though I had fixed it by this point, I was just being cautious, so I grinded the game out in one sitting. It took me three hours to get this catch. Please! 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 Yes! 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 Get me out of this stupid game, please. <laughs> oh my god, 50.1 centimeters. I was so glad to be done with this. Remember at the start of the video how playing on advanced gives you bigger fish? Yeah, I was on beginner, so my fish were smaller on average. The person in the speedrun caught fish that were like 7 kilograms. Probably would have been the way to go, but whatever. Ah, oh, this weigh-in was so satisfying. Get wrecked, mustache guy. He said he was mad that he lost, and that's why he stopped fishing in the first place. I earned the achievement for becoming the Surizuki Village champ, and he gave me his old wood fishing rod. All the villagers came to the clubhouse to congratulate me for winning, which is nice, I guess. Once they all did that, it showed a brief cutscene with the cat running up to me. He said he saw a bass like he'd never seen before, and he was scared. I think there might be some kind of special bass to hunt or something. Whatever, the speedrun beat the village champ, and that's what I'm doing too. I'm calling this one here. Game complete. So yeah, there you have it. My journey to beating Itoi Shigasato no Basuri number 1 Ketean. Oh my goodness, what a disaster. I am so thankful this speedrun was found. Without it, I honestly would have been screwed. I think you are supposed to constantly ask Itoi for advice in the help menu in order to figure out how to win. Things like time of day, weather conditions, which rod and bait to use, and what kind of spot to fish in. It seems he's really into bass fishing, so he tried to make this as close to real life as possible. It does seem a bit weird having all that combined with the clearly cartoony characters. I just am not really into fishing games, especially not when they're so difficult like this. Isn't the point of fishing in real life to relax with your friends and drink beer? I feel like most people don't take it this seriously. Anyway, this is kind of a weird one. I gave it a 0.5 out of 10 for enjoyability, because I like the music, and I gave it a 10 out of 10 for difficulty. Not only was it hard with the speedrun to follow, but without it, there was no chance. One of the hardest games on the console. Alright, thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed. We had a randomized marble race to determine which game was next, so here's how that played out. Or skip to the timestamp on screen to skip straight to the game selection. Uh, we got 229 left on the list. 
Oh my god, this is good. <laughs> they don't all fit here. Uh, well, I assure you they are here. Let's see what happens. And they are off. Nobody knows what's going on right now. What will pull ahead? I see Mario Golf. Some sort of Japanese game and a bunch of marbles off the cliff immediately. I think Doom 64 is in the lead currently. Golf game, Japanese golf game there. Another Japanese game. Doom 64 trying to pull ahead. So many marbles just falling to their demise. Doom 64, the current leader. So many falling. This is a death trap. And Nagano Winter Olympics goes for a big play there, but it does not quite pay off. And we see some bouncing here. Will any survive? I don't see it happening. That's just too much chaos there. Now we got Doom 64. Next, Mario Party. That would be Mario Party 2. That would be very welcome after this. Mario Party 2 currently in the lead. Kirby 64 as well. Another good game. Kirby 64 pulling ahead a bit. Destruction Derby, Mario Party 2, Quest 64. So many people want to see that for some reason, even though I don't think it'll be very fun. Uh, we got so many falling. Oh my god, this is a brutal track. Kirby 64, Mario Party 2 still in the lead. The clear favorites right now. And Mario Party 2 has a bit of separation, but there is a hole here. And Kirby 64 is down. Kirby 64 is out of contention. Destruction Derby is the next in the lead. Mario no Fotobi and Mario Party 2 trying to make a play. Destruction Derby 64 pulling ahead. There's not too many obstacles left. Destruction Derby getting held up a bit by these pins, though. Will it be Destruction Derby 64 still in the lead? This is a chaotic map. So much is happening. Mario no Fotopi trying to make a play. That game will be over in like five minutes. Destruction Derby 64 coming through now. Mario no Fotopi as well. Shin Nippon Wrestling. I think that's Sumo Wrestling. Destruction Derby 64. Just the clear favorite. Is this the finish? I actually don't know. I think it is. Destruction Derby 64. It's Destruction Derby 64. We are playing that. It's probably not as frustrating as this game. And, uh, yeah. Mahjong in fourth place. Oh my god. Dude, this track's crazy. Everything just kept falling. Look at it. It's so many. Alrighty. Destruction Derby 64. We will be playing that tomorrow. It has been decided. But yeah, if you're still here watching, you're awesome. Thank you so much. If you had a good time, consider hitting that like button, or maybe even dropping a subscription. Or hey, maybe even watch another one of these videos that's on screen now. And yeah, see you next time.